Okay guys, so while I'm here to talk about today, some NFL news and more specifically, the Seattle Seahawks have just acquired Jimmy Graham in exchange for Max Under and multiple draft picks, which include at least one first round pick. And this was initially reported by Fox Sports. Now my initial thoughts on this deal is that this play is bad for the Seattle Seahawks long term success because this means to me that Pete Carroll and the rest of the Seattle Seahawks organization are planning to start figuring out Marshawn Lynch as the focus of the offense and, gi and give the keys to Russell Wilson to lead this offense. Now, throughout the first seven weeks of last year, the Seattle Seahawks tried this plan, and it didn't turn out that well. In fact, I'm gonna insert a clip right now that'll explain what I mean. Now, let's just look at Marjan Lincoln's impact on the Shadow Seahawks only for this season. The first seven weeks, the Seattle Seahawks were at 500 at Green and Green. Mark Lynch only carried the ball 97 times for 420 yards and three touchdowns. That comes out to an average over six games of 16 carries for over 70 yards and under one touchdown per game. As a result, the Seattle Seahawks were near the bottom of the league in time of possession. In fact, through October 20th, which is after the St. Louis Rams game, the Seattle Seahawks were 23rd in time of possession, averaging 28 minutes and 50 seconds per game that the offense was out there. As a result, that meant that the Seattle Seahawks defense was on the field for 32 minutes and 50 seconds. Now, the fact that they had to play more and were more tired throughout the course of the game showed in how many yards per game they were giving up throughout the first seven weeks of the season as the Seattle Seahawks were eighth in the league in opponent charge per game giving up 324 yards per game. Now, after week seven, when they faced the St. Louis Rams, the Seattle Seahawks started to give the ball to Marshawn Lynch more. In fact, in the nine games since the St. Louis game, Marshawn Lynch had averaged 19 carries from 92 yards, 
and one cut down per game. In total, he had had 169 carries for 826 yards with nine cut downs. Now, because they're giving the ball to Marshawn Lynch more, that means that the Seattle Seahawks offense was on the field more. As a result, the defense is more risky and playing better. As since October 20th, the Seattle Seahawks are first in the league in opponent charge per game, giving up two hundred and sixty eight point six yards per game. Furthermore, the Seattle Hawk offense has been on the field since October 20th for 32 minutes and 4 seconds. And over the last three games, the Seattle Seahawks offense has been on the field for 34 minutes and 39 seconds. So you can see the effect that winning the football had on the whole Seattle Seahawks team. If you take that away, which they were starting to do at the beginning of the season throughout the first seven games, you see the side effects that would happen if Marshawn Lynch left the team. Now, just for Scott purposes, Russell Wilson do the first six games was averaging 29 attempts going to football, had a competing percentage of 65.7, he grew on an average for 215 yards per game with two touchdowns per game. Now, after Marshawn Lynch started getting the ball more, Russell Wilson averaged 28 attempts per game with 200. 16 yards per game and one touchdown per game with a competing percentage of 60.7 percent. So his stats are remarkably similar. The only difference is you're giving the ball to Marshawn Lynch more. Now, I think if they let Marshawn Lynch so they're going to be a 500 team, uh, a slightly above 500 team, just for the simple fact that the defense will have to play more. As a result, there'll be a worse defense due to fatigue. Now, guys, Tell me what you think of this. Peace.